OnePlus 6 versus iPhone 10 speed test coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology, OnePlus 6 versus iPhone 10. Let's go ahead and begin with the boot up test in three, two, one. And you guys might be asking, Nick, when did you get the OnePlus 6? It just arrived yesterday and I figure let's just skip over the unboxing. It's the same deal every year with the OnePlus and no difference here with the OnePlus 6. It's just another white box with the speed you need on the side. I did pick up the nylon bumper case or case that goes with it and you see the iPhone 10 wins that boot up test and it did come with some, you know, smoked gray gel case. But other than that, dash charger in the box and that's about it. The iPhone 10 wins here for the boot up test. All right guys, so here we are with the face unlock test. We're going to begin here with the OnePlus 6 and see which one is quicker, 3, 2, and 1. And you could see OnePlus 6 right away goes right in. You don't even have to barely look or you don't even see your lock screen sometimes. It's so fast here for the OnePlus 6 and definitely a difference from the Face ID, which isn't always like accurate all the time. So, and it does that a lot. It takes screenshots by accident. You can see right there, it did unlock that time and it unlocked again. So it does unlock pretty accurately if you do look at it in the right lighting as we're looking at it here, but it's a two-step process. Some people like that because they can see their notifications, but the OnePlus 6 is definitely the faster facing unlock phone here when you want to do that. But at the same time, this doesn't have the sensors like the iPhone 10 has, which can authenticate banks and things like that. So the iPhone 10 feels like the more refined face unlock experience, but it feels like it needs an update to be a little bit more accurate. The OnePlus 6 feels way faster, but a little less feature rich. All right, guys, so here we are at the application speed test portion. You can see everything is closed out for the OnePlus 6. Over here on the 10, everything is closed out as well. Let's begin with the calendars, three, two, one. And you can see that is the iPhone 10. Remember Google Calendar though is more of an internet-based calendar, so that might be why the 10 won. Let's go into clock and you could see that was the OnePlus 6. Let's go into the weather and that was the OnePlus 6 again. Coming home, let's go into calculator. That looked maybe faster a little bit on the OnePlus 6 with that animation. Let's go into Instagram. And you can see Instagram, wow, that was pretty close to a tie. You're gonna have to let me know down below. I mean, these are so fast, you might have to slow them down. Now that was faster for the 10 to refresh that like page. And let's go in into the actual pictures. Scrolling fast on the six, a little bit slower there for the 10, but you know, that's more of a smooth scroll. Some people like that. Let's go into the Twitter. And you can see Twitter definitely first for the OnePlus 6, still waiting on the 10. Let's go into Snapchat. Snapchat opens first for the left, coming home. Let's go into WhatsApp. WhatsApp on the OnePlus 6. This is impressive speed here for the OnePlus 6. Let's go into YouTube. And you can see that is easily to the 6. What about flipping through some menus here? And you could see about the same there. So the experience with speed so far, similar on both phones. Let's go into Netflix. And you could see Netflix is ahead. Oh, nope. I was about to say the OnePlus 6, it looked like it was going faster, but that would have might have been a tie there on Netflix. Let's go into Amazon, and you could see Amazon, that's the iPhone 10 slightly coming home. Let's go into eBay. Missed that one on eBay. Let's go ahead and close that out for the OnePlus 6. Let's go into eBay and see which one gets there first. That one was pretty close. I think the 10 might have slightly won there. Let's go into Jetpack. And let's see if the OnePlus 6 can beat it on the games. And no, it didn't win here for the first game. And that's a rather simple game, Jetpack Draw. It even crashed here on, on this OnePlus 6. I think we should do that again due to the crash on the OnePlus 6. Let's go ahead and close this out. That's not looking good on video OnePlus 6. That's not OnePlus's fault though. That could be just, you know, Android and the optimization of the application. Let's go into Jetpack and do this again. And you could see that time very close. I still think the iPhone 10 was slightly ahead on that one. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. And you could see Dead Trigger 2 is first for the iPhone 10. Let's see which one can actually load them graphics up first. And the iPhone 10 runs at max graphics on the first load. This doesn't even run at max graphics, but the iPhone 10 actually won this load up time, even though it's on a higher graphics setting right out of the gate. So very impressive gaming performance for the iPhone. Let's go into PUBG Mobile, three, two, one. 
and this game requires a lot of load time so that's why i put it in here a lot of people play this game right here you can see which one is actually going to get you in that match first and you could see iphone 10 is ahead here easily over the one plus six and yes definitely this one's going to go to the iphone 10 so yeah you're you're a win here when you want to play PUBG mobile you're definitely going to win here for the iphone 10. now the one plus six while a very fast android phone it's just not as quick when it comes to these games so far let's go into slither and you could see slither about the same on both not bad three two one and you could see about the same so it looks like the basic applications or the more simple uh gaming is a little bit it's about the same but when it comes to just loading up those more graphically intensive games the iphone 10 is going to win now in actual gameplay there's not too much of a difference at all though let's go into geekbench and the oneplus 6 doesn't stutter at all on gameplay let's go into speed test and looks like the oneplus 6 is ahead there so that's the final speed test on the apps looks like the oneplus 6 was faster in almost every like single app except for a couple it could change depending on your internet connection it looks like the gaming still is not beat on the iphone 10 even with the 8 gigs of ram let's go ahead and see if the oneplus 6 does better in this multitasking round all right so we're here at multitasking i'm going to do these one at a time just to make sure that we see if there's any reloads on either let's go to speedtest.net nothing geekbench slither let's go into pubg mobile and that's ready to go dead trigger 2 again we're just looking for a reload I don't expect to see any here for the OnePlus 6, Netflix. Wow, these animations are just so fast. And this is 1X, this is not even 0.5. We'll talk about that when we get into the beast mode video and you could see everything just perfect here for the OnePlus 6, 530 bucks here, half the price of an iPhone 10, perfect performance. Let's go into speed test and I don't expect any difference here. The iPhone 10 with those nice gesture animations. The OnePlus 6 also has gestures too. I just don't have them turned on for this video. So keep that in mind if you do want to use gestures for the OnePlus 6. We'll talk about that in another video, but you can do that. And you can see there is no hiccups here at all for the iPhone 10. So extremely quick as well. Perfect performance here on the iOS device when it comes to just opening, closing your everyday applications. Okay, so the final Geekbench scores are in 2439 on the single core for the OnePlus 6 and 4246 for the iPhone 10, 8835 on the multi and 10254 on the multi core for the iPhone 10. So the iPhone 10 hangs on as the champ in the benchmarks, but that's pretty much it here between the OnePlus 6 and the iPhone 10 speed test. You've seen in the real world that they're about even, and that's saying quite a lot for a phone that costs 50% less than an iPhone 10. Now, again, that doesn't really matter to everybody when you're considering some people just wanna be in the iOS ecosystem, so that matters as well. But if I was to give you my first impressions of the OnePlus 6 so far, it's basically kind of a mashup of like an iPhone 10. They kind of took some design inspirations there. The rear kind of feels a lot like a Galaxy S9 Plus. The software has wallpapers that look very similar to this iPhone 10, as you can see the one right now. You can definitely see that inspiration right there. And the software itself feels very close to a Pixel 2 XL. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel so far, but I'll give you more of an updated review soon. But that was the OnePlus 6 versus the iPhone 10 speed test. What did you guys think? Which one do you think is faster? Drop your comments down below. Are you picking up a OnePlus 6? I look forward to talking to you about that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.